Well, hello there, folks, and thanks for clicking on the video. It's very, very much appreciated. Uh, you're out in content with me today, and it's actually a slightly different video to what I normally do. I'm not doing an overnighter tonight. Uh, so what I'm actually doing, uh, going to be doing is an actual gear review video. Uh, so basically, if you've been following the channel for the last few years, you'll know that I actually tend to use twig stoves an awful lot. Um, I just prefer the little twig stoves to the point from uh, protecting the ground and leave no trace, etc. Uh, so I do tend to sort of have them on something like this, which is a cut-off bit of wood or alternatively a rock, just to raise them up off the actual ground itself so there's no scorch marks uh, left on the actual ground itself. Um, so I've been using the titanium one for a couple of years now and absolutely blown away with it. Love it to bits. It's just so, so versatile and so, so light. But Wild Company International have actually uh, brought out the steel version of it. Uh, so it's exactly the same actual stove itself. It's literally just the actual steel version. So they've sent it through for me to have a little play with, a little look at, and uh, do a little bit of a review on. And they are just identical, no difference between the actual two products, which again, we'll have a bit of a closer look at it just in a wee second. Um, but I suppose one of the main things with it is budget. Uh, so when it comes to lights, the steel stove as opposed to the titanium stove, big difference in price. And that's really where the actual the, the steel stove comes in. Um, so really good idea from the point of view of just if you are on a budget, it's still actually getting you the same uh, same sort of quality and all that sort of things and finish, etc. that you would normally expect from Wild Company International. Uh, but you've still got that versatility of actually the twig stove itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're going to have a little look at the actual two products itself. Um, and actually I'll go through the sort of technical specs, the weights, etc. of them. And then I'm actually going to get a bit of a cook up on, uh, get a coffee going and a bit of a bacon roll. Uh, so we'll start off just actually having a look at the technical specs. So from the point of view of the actual specs themselves, so um, it's very, very, very simple to actually put together uh, the actual stove itself. It just all sort of links in together. It's then got its actual crossbeam across the top for actually putting your pots and pans on. And then it's actually got the ashtray uh, just underneath there as well. And uh, as I said, the steel version's just got exactly the same sort of setup on it. Now, from the point of view of the actual weights itself, so basically the actual steel version is 13.4 ounces uh, or 378 grams. And then from the point of view of the titanium one it comes in at 8 ounces exactly or 224 grams. You know, so there's not a massive difference in the actual weight, but I can understand from the point of view of just it's the budget more than anything else again. Now, I mean, as I said, I've been using them for, for long enough, so what you do tend to find on the lights of the titanium one is there is an element of distortion uh, within the actual material itself, whereas the steel, uh, you won't really get that. The other thing you do tend to find as well is that possibly the titanium one is quicker to actually heat up, but then it's quicker to actually cool down, which can be quite handy if you need to sort of move away from camp quite quickly. But in all honesty, I actually tend to find that I don't really have any sort of a rush whatsoever. Uh, so when it comes to it, I'm quite happy with the lights of the steel one, even though it might take a little bit longer, but it will retain the heat. Uh, you know, so if it is something that I'm looking for, for heat and heat around camp, um, which quite often I do actually have when I'm actually at camp, quite often I'll just use this as the actual fire itself, not just for cooking a meal, but also just for sitting around. Uh, so that's where this is really going to come into its own for me. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get a fire going on both. I'm going to do one with an actual, um, the actual water itself and then one with the actual bacon. Now, there is another extent of it's actually really handy having both. Um, because basically now I can actually cook both. But it's normally in a fire, you only have the actual option to either cook uh, alternatively the bacon or alternatively boil your actual kettle. Whereas if you've actually got both, you've got the versatility for both. On the lights of a hike where you are in a situation where you're looking for trying to save that weight, titanium one would probably be the one. But if you aren't that bothered and it is going to be at an actual camp or something along that sort of line, the steel is just absolutely ideal. So let's get the actual uh, the wood in there and we'll get the fire going. So I'm not going to be doing anything fancy from the point of view of starting the actual fires itself. And what I'll do is I'll just let that get up into a wee bit of a bed of coals just before we actually get the, the bacon on.
Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that to cook up. So it was actually quite interesting watching that there just now um, to sort of see that one seemed to have quite a good flame on it uh, for a while but it's probably gone out a little bit quicker but both really really good um, and again from the point of view of I keep focusing on it but it's that budget thing you know as I said there is quite a big difference between the two actual products that sell so for a lot of people that would work just absolutely fantastically well didn't really take any difference in time between the actual two to sort of cook up um, obviously one was water, one was one was the, the actual Lauren sausage itself um, but both impressed with both and again as I was sort of saying that's the benefit of having both uh, you know the fact that I was actually able to uh, cook up both things at the same time because quite often it's a case of I've got my food ready but then I'm boiling my actual water and having to take time for that as well uh, so it can sometimes be a bit of a pain so actually having the two is quite handy uh, and will definitely be handy in the future but I think I'm probably going to find that I'm going to take the steel one uh, to the actual bushcraft camp an awful lot more. Um, again, because I'm not necessarily that bothered about weight. Um, and again, for the value for money aspect of it as well, I do think it's absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. I'm just going to finish this and then I'll hook up with you. Okay, so that's me letting them cool down. And basically, they were actually not far apart in actual times between them actually cooling down at all. Um, so I said, very, very impressed with them. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, the actual products themselves just actually up in the top corner of the actual video just for you to actually check them out themselves. Uh, and as I said, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, but not thoroughly impressed, thoroughly impressed. Okay, so thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next adventure. Take care, bye-bye.